Guys, we're gonna show y'all how to set up the easy uh, relay control board. Some of y'all like to use this to control an AC coupled system. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get that set up today. Um, as you can see, this has got three buttons on the front of it, which are gonna set the programs. And the, the, the relay can do a lot of cool stuff, but all we ever use it for is voltage control. So just to start with this, I have a 12 volt power supply right here, plugged into the wall. And I'm coming in with this little 12 volt AC adapter feeding the power of this uh, chart of this uh, board. Now it's important you get the polarity right. I cut this cord off and I used a voltmeter to determine which one was positive and which one was negative. This is just a regular 120 volt power supply. See, it just lost power when I unplugged it. So now we're turning it back on and we have this red and white wire coming from the battery bank, which I have here, a 48 volt battery bank we're gonna to use to control this. And we're, this is going to read off the battery voltage to turn the relays on or off. So if you have a grid tie inverter and you don't want to overcharge your batteries, that's what this is here to protect. So I got a, I, I just stole a Cat5 cable and I'm using you know both these to read the battery. So anyway, we're gonna to go to program five. Just gonna hit the set button and it's going to change and then once we change this program five, we're gonna hit enter. So now it shows a light came on on relay B. So relay B is powered by the V2. Now, if you'll zoom in on this, we see we have the power right here, positive and negative, that's your 12 volts. We have V1 plus, V1, V2 negative plus, and then we have a negative. This is, you can actually independently control the two relays from different voltage sources. No one really wants to do that. They want to come from the same battery bank. So if I was trying to use two relays at once, we have V2, which is this relay wired up with this wire, but I could just jump to V1 and wire this relay up from the same source. So now the problem is we need to set the actual logic of the uh, relay. So we're going to hit set and it'll say high. This is the high voltage at which point the, the switch will turn itself on, will engage, we want it to turn on at a certain point, and we want it to turn off at a certain point. So we want it to set itself to turn, when it hits high, it will turn on. The, right now we have 48 volts, it's set automatically to 11, so that's why it turned on. Well, let's change this and make it 58. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit add, once we hit set, we're hitting add, and we're gonna hit, okay, 55, we're gonna hit set, and we're gonna add, we're going to 58 volts. My batteries are not 58 volts right now. So we should be good. Okay. We see 55.4. Now the problem is this didn't turn off. And the reason is, okay, uh, we're going to set this. And then low. When does it turn off again? Well, my batteries are 55. So in order to make sure this turns off for the demonstration, I'm going to set the trip to 56 volts. So at 56 volts, it turns the relay back off. So we're setting. I'll just leave it at 56 and a half, just for good measure. And then correction, if your voltage, this is at red 55 volts, if your voltage here is not the same as on your batteries, you can correct the volts that this thing's reading, up or down. So we're just gonna set this. This is, Channel A, I'm just going through here and leaving that alone. Now, okay, so it looks like I got the wrong relay. Give me a second here, we'll go loop back around. So this is relay A and it's set right, but of course we're not using relay, we're focusing on relay B. So let's go here and set relay B to what we want, which is 58 for the high, and then the low, we're gonna set to 56. See, it just turned off. Because it reads the battery at 54, at 56, it clears itself. And this is all you need. Now, in order to control your double throw contactors so you guys are using, you wanna use these relays up top. Now this relay right here, if you see, it has a normally closed and a normally open. So your normal, your 
double throw relays are normally closed relays. So when this thing turns on, you want to energize the relay in order to disconnect the relay. So you want to be using the normally open terminals. Put your input into the common, come out of the normally open. And if you use this logic where it turns on when the batteries are too high and turns back off when the batteries get low enough for wherever your reset voltage is, then you will be able to control a double throw contactor. If you're using a standard contactor, you'll have to do it backwards. You'll have to use the normally closed. But I don't recommend standard contactors because they make bad electrical connections. You want to use a double throw contactor, like 25 bucks on Amazon.